Hi, this is Cousin Russ. Uh, continuing my series on Family Tree Maker 2019, I'm going to go to the next uh, option, uh, next new feature. Uh, the last two videos was on uh, Family Search 2.0. I'm going to continue uh, with Family Search 2.0, but this time I'm going to show you the new features in uh, a Family Tree Maker 2019 in the People Workspace. And again, it is Family Search 2.0. So we've got, we already have access to Family Search um, today with hints, and you can also merge. But Family Search 2.0 in 2019 is different. And I want to show you how I have am using the new feature. You see these blue boxes. The blue box means that there is a hint from Family Search. So um, today in 2017, I would go and I could see the profile in Family Search uh, that matched my ancestor. Now, in my database, I have created a fact called end of line. So my direct line ancestors, if I get to a point going back that the ancestor has no parents, direct line, I mark with a fact called end of line. And I uh, created a filter for anyone who is using the end of line fact. So in this case, there's 399 people in my database who I believe are the end of line. Now, I use a vis visual thing on end of line in that I will put an image that I created uh, for end of the end of line answer. You, you see that Grace has no ancestors. Uh, one just below that is George. George has no ancestors. So I'm going to go down uh, because I don't have a lot of information, I don't want to take time to discuss that, uh, all these unknown people, but look, look, I've got some unknown people all together. So if I looked at the profile, I wouldn't know whether it was good, bad, or indifferent for now. I have done it, uh, and I'll show you that uh, shortly. So I'm going to select uh, Annie here because she's got the hollow blue box that's here as well. And it says Family Search has two hints found. I'm going to skip over the two line, uh, the two Family Search hints for the moment, because uh, I want to get down to uh, some of these ones that have, that's got four. So I don't have to spend a lot of time going through all of these hints, and I, I don't want to do that for this demonstration, so I'm going to jump down here and see that's got to, I'm going down to another person, and that's got to, um, so I'm going to find one who has one family search hints. So that should be pretty straightforward. So it tells me that I have one family search hint. I'm going to click on the blue box and it's going to take me to the web search workspace at the top. And what it's going to, what I'm going to see is the profile on family search that looks like the database in, uh, that looks like my database and the information that I have on this person is in the lower left hand corner. So, uh, looks like uh, my internet is having a little time making the connection uh, but that may be because i'm recording uh, so i'm going to let it spin just for so there we go it came in so what i do now is visually look i look at my database in the lower left hand corner and the lower right hand corner shows me the information from this profile that's in family search. Now I look at the, I have a birth date and I say about 1606, this says 1605, oh, that's close. Death is 1686, 
F is 1686. Uh, I'm more focused on the relationships I have, Elizabeth Jackson, and this has Elizabeth Jackson. What's also important here is that the family search uh, profile has the parents. Now, I don't want to merge this profile from family search. Family search, that's what I would could do in 2017, but what I can do in 2019 is a new feature called match. What that is saying that I, the user, believe that this family search profile matches the profile in my database. So I'm going to select match. And I, I've let this pop up window come up because if I use this file for a demonstration, I want to just say what the what I just did or what I am doing right now. All I'm going to do is say to Family Tree Maker that I have a profile and there's the profile ID on Family Search that I believe that they are a match for my person in my database. Now I'm going back to the people workspace and you know that that blue box is now gone. So uh, it's gone, it's not there, I, but I've already made the hint. Now, in order, to, I'm gonna show you a new feature in Family Tree Maker 2019 that's related to this. If I go up here to the index and the drop down menu, you see that I have a new option. Color coding we know, hints we know. The new option is Family Search ID. So there is that Family Search ID. I had the Family Search ID, but nothing else. Now I'm going to go up to here and I'm gonna close that window so I can see who that person is. I'm gonna turn off the Family Search ID hint and notice that that blue box is now solid. When I have a solid blue box, that means I already did the match. I showed you the match number was there for, there's another one that just came in as I've been speaking. So what what is happening now is that uh, Family Tree Maker is communicating with Family Search. And in this case, I, I'm just gonna go up and look at this one. This is a solid blue. So this says, if I hover over the blue box, it says 58 family search historical records were found for this person. So I'm going to click on the blue box and there's the profile, but I then click on the historical records from family search. Now I'm not going to merge any of the records here. My point is that, and I have to, would have to sign in and I won't take the time to do that. But the, the point is that I'm going to let, mark all of my end of line ancestors. Those ones where I don't have any information on any of the family. And when I want to push a line back further, I'm going to use the uh, filter that I just showed you to anybody who's got end of line, and then look at the historical records from Family Search. Uh, I have not uh, put this tree. This, I've not put this file on Ancestry, so I'm not getting Ancestry hints. I'm not ready to do that. But what I am doing today is going through all of my end of line ancestors and matching from family search, family tree, family search 2.0. So that is uh, uh, the people workspace view of family search 2.0. It's a great feature. I uh, am excited to be able to just focus on 
my end of line ancestors who have hints from family search. Now I will get this file on ancestry member tree, not to worry about that, uh, to get the hints from ancestry. Uh, but now I have another resource if, of hints that I can go look at from family search for my end of line ancestors. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment on the blog post that goes along with this video and I will get back to you. Thank you and have a great day.